hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for pressing play my name is valentine so in today's video uh this video is a video i've wanted to do for quite some time but i've been stalling and the reason why i've been stalling is because some of the things i'm going to mention here will be choosing violence it will be choosing chaos but it's important that we hold each other accountable for the things that we say and the behavior that we portray or the character that we put out there so some of these things i've been guilty of myself these are things i have had constantly and constantly and sometimes people say these things because they have no idea um, of how much weight their words would carry some people are just ignorant and they don't know that these things are inappropriate to say so these are some of the things that you should think twice before you open your mouth and say them number one mtafika 10 years mtaacha tu kuzoeana na kupendana vile mko in translation is most people will see young people who are married young people like myself who are newlyweds and how they love each other and how they're doing things and helping each other and how they're just running their home or just loving each other and that comment would come up that mm, you know you're still young you're still young in marriage let's wait for 10 years to come we see if you're going to be doing the same things and this thing irritates me number one because first of all you're projecting your issues from your marriage or whatever marriage that was modeled to you you're portraying it on people you have no idea how they run their things number two it's just it's showing you as a bitter person because why would you wish that on people like why would you wish that in 10 years they would not be in love or they will not be as together or as happy as they are now it's, it's a selfish thing to say and number three which is usually said that is your marriage if your marriage in 10 years did not look like other people stop portraying your issues that is your marriage not ours okay respectfully the second thing that irritates me if you follow me on instagram you know how vocal i have been about this issue from the first day i got married Questions came up. When are you having kids? No. When is your stomach going to swell? When CG, like guys, mind your own business. And it's not just even for me, like, stop asking people such questions. You do not know what people are going through. People would have just lost a kid. People would have just miscarried. People would not have. Maybe they don't want to have kids. Maybe they have an issue that is so sensitive and you keep bringing this thing up. Like, can someone just live for one hour without thinking they have a problem? You're always bringing it up. Maybe they have financial issues. Maybe they have planned to have kids after five years or never. It's just not your business. Stop. And stop doing these things. Don't think that because some people are close to you or they're your friends that it's okay to bring up such things. Unless these people bring up these things by themselves. Just mind your own business. Please. And the sister to that one is for people who are not married. When are you getting married? Arusi una Twitter lini. When is the wedding? Ujapata mtu bado? Mtu umepata? Some of these things we say them as jokes and there are people who take them lightly they see it as a joke but there are people who take it very sensitively it could be a, a really sensitive issue unless someone has brought it up i mean just keep quiet nyamaza to like control your mouth think twice before you say these things maybe people don't want to get married maybe it's not in their plan to get married maybe they've just broken up with someone maybe it's a really sensitive issue they're being bugged with their parents to get married and they don't have someone why would you be the other person to add pressure on them why would you be the person that assumes they just want to get married so think twice about think twice before saying these things to people because really again it's what Say with me, none of your business. Another one that used to irritate me a lot. You know how you have couple friends or you just seen them online or you comment on something like, oh, you two are so cute or you look really nice together or etc. And then they reply that, don't worry, God has a person for you. They are coming soon. That's weird. <laughs> 
first of all we are just complimenting you second you are really assuming that we are praying for people or we are waiting for people or we probably just don't want to have partners or it's just it's probably not our thing when you do that what you're doing is you're trying to build a, a mountain out of a hill come to like someone would be very comfortable with being single but if you say that to them they feel like it brings it brings a feeling of inadequacy inadequacy yeah it brings that feeling on someone when really probably some, someone is just having a good day really they just see that you're a good couple and then you decide to just ruin their day by making them feel inadequate who told you they're praying for someone who told you they're waiting on someone who told you they even want to have a partner the other one that is common among christian circles yo if people could go to hell because of this this thing will take a lot of people to hell stop telling people you will pray for them oh don't worry i'm praying for you i will pray for you and you don't do it stop telling people i am praying for you and you are not tell them that if you are praying for them can we just stop being liars and superficial in church and just oh sister don't worry i'm praying for you i've been praying for you and your families and you know deep down you're not doing these things sis just stop 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 lying like stop lying another special one that hits right at the heart of married women or not even married women people who have kids when are you having the other one I'm still breastfeeding the firstborn. You're already asking for a secondborn. Are you not ashamed of yourself? Just give me a break. Really, guys, these things we say them without thinking. And if you just sit down and think about it, it's not it's none of our business. And most of these things, if you are listening to me, some of these things, most of them actually you find yourself guilty of because you have been in an environment where it does not show you how inappropriate these things would be to just say them loosely and just tell people these things so it's none of our business when people are having the next kids maybe they just want to have one maybe they are not let's let's just leave it okay unless people bring it up let's leave it another one that is close to when are you having the next kid is guy mbonam lim name hivo like why did you name your child that name that's a really common name why why did you call your child brandon why did you call them brian amasijui karo amakare that's a really common name <laughs> yo if you're one of those people who says that i i don't have much to tell you it's just it's not your place it's not your place uh, whatever people name their kids it's none of your business like you have your own kid and name them whatever name you want give them the most unique name you want after all at atembe uku inje tutasikia yo jina tutanemu watuto yetu pia itakuwa unique anymore so another one which hits again right at the heart of believers and people who go to church people who tell people maybe you're not praying enough sasa wewe maybe you're not praying enough who died and made you the secretary wa Mungu wewe ndo unachukua maombi ya watu ile yenye inajibiwa huyu mwenye anaomba sana unapelekea Mungu unamwambia case is urgent my father my father this is urgent please answer this person as soon as possible they have prayed nine times a day and this one they just prayed one time a day i don't think it's urgent for them stop telling people such things you really don't know if people are praying too much or they are not praying you, you don't know unless they tell you just wasi ndo judge wasi ndo judge wa mtu maombi yake tajibiwa ama when it will be said in church again umeokoka mbona una to treat evil like you're a born again christian why are you treating us like this and this in context let me put this in context sometimes of course there could be a believer who is stepping out of god's will and they're treating people ill and you can call them out and this mostly this phrase of you're born again don't treat us like this is usually used to manipulate believers so if you are using that phrase to manipulate a believer please number one understand that because someone is born again does not mean they're stupid these people can be assertive okay so don't manipulate people thinking because they go to church or they are born again they should treat you in a certain way and you know clearly you are manipulating them 
we are born again we are not stupid okay okay another one that is very sensitive and unless someone brings it up just shut up about it is compliment not complimenting actually um commenting or criticizing people's skin or face because you've seen they have a breakout or they have acne or something is wrong with their face and you're like what's wrong with your face mbona uso yako inakaa hivyo unakunywanga maji ya kutosha kweli sijui yo dermatologist shut up unless someone has come and consulted you stop just stop giving people advice because you've seen their skin you don't know what someone is going through and i'm sure these people they've seen themselves in the mirror before they leave and this thing is already sitting heavy in their hearts on their hearts before you come back and remind them you're just there telling someone you don't even know someone you're like oh what's wrong with your face you know me i've tried tea tree if you try if you try tea tree it's going to work for you have you tried gani are you taking enough water sijui labda ni hormonal imbalance so ujui it's an inside thing umengangana oh you know wash your face with black soap you know sijui uh, camel urine can sort your issues sijui like it's not your business these people they already know what's wrong with their faces or if they are breaking out unless they ask you for advice just zip it zip it please mm. and close to that is but si wewe umepaka makeup bila makeup utakaje ama you know these people who are always telling you because you have makeup on they are like oh you know you you have makeup me i don't have makeup today i'm makeup free if you can't wear makeup okay if you do not have the expertise to make your face learn don't go putting down people who have done their makeup for you to feel better about yourself if you don't like makeup that's your preference Please don't go putting down people who have worn makeup just so you can feel better about yourself. If people are talking about how their skin is looking nice, it is not okay for you to comment on someone who has makeup. At you unajua uko na makeup, that's why your face is looking clear. If you didn't have makeup to get on as nini, naturalista sijui nini nini. If your preference is natural, you know? If your pre- pre- preference is to go without makeup. Be bold in that and be bold in it and get confidence from yourself don't get confidence by putting other people down just because they took some time to make their faces it's 2021 women please let's talk okay kasi preference yako acha tu if you like wigs and 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 maybe you like your dreadlocks or your natural hair nyin what to foresee sijui nini nini na shea butter whatever whatever just because me i have locks or i've worn a wig does not make you better or make me better than you we can we have different preferences okay do your business i do mine thank you oh this one i hate so much if you follow me on instagram i have addressed it before there are these people who particularly like to tell women oh you know when you get married you just settle down ama utaolewa utatulia if i put it in kiswahili it comes out as rude as i want it to be because that's what someone has told me before atia unajua utaolewa tu utatulia me i'm not going to comment on it I'm going to give ask you people to think about it and comment down in the comment section. Eh? Yeah? Let's open the eyes of these people who tell people you just get married you settle down. Utolewa tu utatulia hizi mbio zako mdome yako sijui ni nini itatulia kwa marriage. Please help me in the comment section to open the eyes of people who use such phrases so that they can see how inappropriate or how wrong saying such things are or the impact that saying such a phrase or such a sentence could have on someone and lastly i have two that are related and this one is where by the way oja teseka mimi nikikwambia kile nime go through <laughs> let me now translate it for my non swahili speakers this means someone is telling you you know you you've not gone through hard times let me tell you about me because me i've gone through hard times First of all, we are not competing on who has gone through hard times. I don't think there's a medal for someone who has gone through hard times. At the end of the day, utaambia unaingia Guinness World Book record for suffering. Hmm? 
unless me i'm enduring suffering for christ i'm not bragging bragging about that suffering so you if you want to look like you have gone through it in life more than me i beg you boast about it me if i've gone through suffering not that i will minimize it but i'm not competing with anyone in a conversation at you you know me i've gone through it you even yours is small it's not a good thing to even try and see it. we are competing about it and lastly that one for kuomoka that oh you know these days umeomoka or these days you are famous or you are known or you have money so you don't sit with us anymore that would be a good thing but if people are saying it to manipulate you that's also not right because my pastor always jokes and say misery loves company and not just misery everything loves company ukiwa na wale wase mko jobless mnakanga pamoja you console yourself you encourage yourself the moment this person gets a job people are, oh, watu wameka na wao jobless people some of them the worst ones they will just have a negative thing you know the watu wanakuona wako like hmm, usikwizi uringa jo akona job but really ni you now you cannot sit with them from morning 10 a.m. had 10 p.m. kicheza ps because that time you are at work and you're probably doing that from monday to saturday but now because you have not shown up for two weekends someone is going to label you una umeomoka so una treat evil let's think twice before saying some things because at the end of the day we run to judge people or to say things that we have no idea about because we don't have the full picture you are there commenting on someone to get pregnant you don't have the full picture of if they want to have kids or not or if they're struggling or not you're commenting there on how oh cg now you you are richer you don't want to hang hang out with us but you don't have the fuller picture of the responsibility that this person now has because they have a job or they are hustling so It's important that you think twice before you say some things. Just kitujui about it just shush, shut it. And these things I'm not just making them up. If you read the book of James 3, the whole chapter in fact, just read the whole book of James 3. Ponder about it, think about it and then come back and tell me. Thank you so much guys for watching this video up to the end. Let me know in the comment section what are some of these phrases that people have told you or that you have heard before that you find really inappropriate and really out of place for people to say these things because they just didn't think twice before saying these things. Thank you so much. Leave them in the comment section. Let's engage there and I will see you in the next one. Bye.